Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farron channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Radiant on Windows or Hive OS. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to start to mine Radiant is you're going to need to go ahead and grab yourself a wallet. So if you take yourself to their website radiantblockchain.org and scroll yourself down to the bottom, you can go ahead and pick from the choice of two wallets. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to be making an Electron wallet. Now what you need to do is just go ahead and click on to their GitHub Go ahead and click on the releases there and go ahead and click on this version here for yourself go ahead and download this now once you've actually gone ahead and downloaded this the wallet will go ahead and ask you for the name for your wallet and then it'll show you your seed phrase it'll ask you to confirm your seed phrase and then it'll ask you to confirm a secure password so for the sake of this i won't be going ahead and running it but as i say guys it is safe I just already have my wallet currently set up at the moment. So once you've gone ahead and successfully installed your Electron wallet, it should look exactly the same uh, as this right here. So what we're going to need to do now is move on and go ahead and grab ourselves a miner so that we can actually go ahead and load this receiving address into somewhere. So let's go ahead and press on BZ Miner. So if we go to bzminer.com and then we press on the version 13.2.1, so let's just go ahead and click on that. That'll start to download. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves over to the download location. And for myself, this will be on the desktop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this folder onto the desktop. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and dropped your BZ Miner folder onto your desktop, let's go ahead and find ourselves a pool. So if we take ourselves a look over on Miner Pool Stats, you can see there's various pools that you can go ahead and pick and choose from. Now, there has been some issues with uh, Wooly Pooly recently with uh, the Casper coin uh, and reporting 40% less earnings. Um, so for the instance, for the sake of this video, I am going to use uh, Wooly Pooly. Um, but please do make sure guys that you do take and do your own research uh, on which pool uh, that you want to use for yourself but I haven't personally been affected by the Casper coin mining so personally I'm going to carry on going forward uh, with the woolly pooling so if we take ourselves over to the pool what you're going to need to do is you will need to go ahead and press on the pool then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see RXD right there now all you're going to need to do is press on connection press on the region that you're from so if you're EU or you are from the US then press on the miner of your choice go ahead and fill in the wallet address that you've gone ahead and copied from your Electron Radian wallet and then go ahead and name your worker as you can see the github as well also for the BZ miner is there so what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy this text document that has been placed there for us so we can go ahead and create a new bat file so let's take ourselves back over to our desktop open up the bz minor folder then what we're going to do is go ahead and press new go ahead and press text document name this radiant that'll do that's perfectly fine open this up then go ahead and paste in there everything that you got from the Wooly Pooly website. Go ahead and press save as. Now all we need to do is in lowercase just put dot bat. Go ahead and press save on this. Go ahead and close this off and then we should be able to double click this and then we are now successfully mining on Wooly Pooly for Radiant. So go ahead and press allow access on this if this is your first time setting this up which is it is for myself okay for those of you that are on hive os let's go ahead and show you how to set up your flight sheets so you can actually start going to mine this on hive os so if you press on flight sheets we take ourselves over to the coin type in there rxd for radiant coin then we're going to need to go ahead and add ourselves a wallet so if we take ourselves back over to the electron wallet go ahead and press copy Go ahead and paste that into the address section, name it Radiant or name it whatever you'd like. Um, and then for the source, um, just leave that as is and then just go ahead and press create. So once you've gone ahead and create that, what you need to do is go ahead and pick yourself a pool. So as we mentioned before in the Windows version, 
we use Wooly Pulley. So let's just go ahead and carry on going forward. As I said before, do your own research. They have had some issues recently with uh, Casper Coin, but I do think that they have gone ahead and started the process of fixing and resolving that. But I'm not up to date with it because I haven't uh, been heavily mining the Casper Coin myself. So go ahead and press on the Europe PPLNS. Then take yourself over onto the miner selection. Let's go ahead and press on BZ Miner. We're not going to be doing any dual mine ticker on this one. So let's call this Radiant. And let's go ahead and press Create Flight Sheet. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and created ourselves a flight sheet. Let's go ahead and start to run this flight sheet. So what we're going to need to do, just go ahead and tick on this box here. Go ahead, select on Flight Sheet. Scroll down to you find the one that you've just created there, so the Radiant. Go ahead and click on this. Do you want to apply the current flight sheet for the selected one worker? Go ahead and press apply. So the worker has been updated successfully. So if we just take ourselves over onto the worker, let's go ahead and just give this just a few moments. And if this has been set up correctly, we should be now switching over onto Radiant. As you can see there, we have now started to successfully start mining on Radiant Coin with BZ Miner. What I'm going to do guys is I am going to leave this mining for 24 hours on the RTX 2070 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the mining results and exactly how much that I have earned within the 24 hour mining period and let you guys know exactly whether uh, RxD mining is a little bit more profitable. The only reason I have jumped into mining at the moment is I have noticed that for the price to the difficulty, you know, it, the difficulty is a little bit down compared to where it was you know previously so i feel like it, you know it's a good point right now to just potentially jump back in grab an ever so slight small bag of uh, rxd and then you know hope or pray for any potential you know pumps or anything like that going forward in the future but let me know down in the comments guys are you currently mining on a bit of rxd at the moment and let me know what your opinions are all right guys i'll see you in the next video peace